Well, hello, Collective. Welcome back to the channel. Gigi here. How you doing today? Um, just wanted to do a collective reading. Um, last night, something happened. And I was sitting down to do the Sagittarius reading. And Spirit wasn't letting, me have it, wasn't letting it happen. And Spirit's like, Gina, you need to get up and you need to go take a spiritual bath. Right now. <laughs> you ain't getting another reading done until this happens. So... I was extraordinarily obedient and picked my ass up and went straight into the bathroom and did my business and took care of what I needed to take care of. Got some messages. Um, so to tell you a little bit about what the messages were from Spirit last night is I have four more readings to do in the Zodiac uh, for this particular uh, series that I'm doing. And I have a specific order that I'm going to be doing them in Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, and then Sagittarius. And once I have them all done, I will post them in normal sequence, but they are going to be recorded out of, out of sequence. Uh, Spirit has some things that needs to be said in this particular order, and um, it's going to take me some time. So please be patient. They will come out as Spirit tells me to put them out. Okay, guys. So with that being said, I just want to thank you all for being here, joining me on the channel. Thank you so much for being subscribers here and being a part of my family. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so, so you can be a part of all of the shenanigans that happen on this channel that is a novella. This is a novella, Twin Flame novella channel. Really, it really is. It, this is just hilarious entertainment. Very serious on a lot of cases, but a lot of it very funny. So thank you so much for being here. Please join the family if you haven't already by subscribing. Please like the video uh, to just tell me that it resonates, that you're enjoying yourself just to say hi, whatever the case may be. Please do that. Leave me some comments. I love chatting with you down there. Um, yes, yeah, so this is a collective energy read that I'm going to be doing right now. Uh, so take it how it resonates for you. If it doesn't fit, don't force it, please. And thank you. Place yourself where you belong if it does resonate. Uh, Gigi is not a therapist. However, I am your friend. Yep, big time. Love you guys to pieces. Uh, with messages here from Spirit for you and to relay what these energies need to say to you that may not be able to say it to your face. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we got that going on. Uh, just a couple of little things. This evening, I'm actually going to get on face forward camera in my face and do a whole thing. I've got some announcements. One that I'm going to talk about real quick here. I don't want to get too uh, crazy with how long my intros are, but personal readings are now available on the website. Link will be in the description down below. Spirituality kits still available on the website if you need spiritual protection. All that information will be down in the description box below, along with my email if you guys need me for anything, okay? With that being said, let's get into our timeline update. It is November 9th, 2021. It is 2.49 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Central Valley, California. On the table today, we have Zodiac, Oracle, Angels, Ancestors, Romance, Angels, and Time for Healing. That's it. That's what we got. I'm going to be channeling with some of my tiger's eye. Put that there. I, I did this this time. I think this will be easier for me to pull as messages need to come out. I don't know. We'll see how I like it. But there, that's something new as well. Let's get an incense real quick. Light up some sage. Yes. As I'm doing this, I will say our prayer. Holy Spirit, please come down and protect and guide us as I channel this energy surrounding our collective. I'd like to take a moment, Holy Spirit, to say thank you for the blessings that is our collective for allowing the energies to join here and gather. It means the world to me and I appreciate this blessing. Archangel Gabriel, please allow me to channel through you clear, honest, and precise messages for our collective. Archangel Michael, please protect us all as I channel this energy. Only allow heaven's white light to surround this reading, please, and cast any darkness back to hell where it belongs. Please and thank you. I love and appreciate you all. Sorry, sometimes it's important. I'm not apologizing for the fact that it's important to count your blessings, but sometimes when I feel the need to say it, I just say it. Anyway, all right. Lighten up some sage. New piece. in any energy, any darkness. Get it out of here, get it out of here. Alright. Alright. Okay, Holy Spirit. Oh, I 
just got an energy surge. What's going on, Holy Spirit? What is the zodiac energy surrounding our collective today? What is the zodiac energy surrounding our collective today? Crumbling towers are falling today. Somebody's in a heap of a heap of shit. I'm just gonna keep it OG right now. I'm gonna keep it gangsta for real. <laughs> I'm not, it, this is, what's the zodiac energy spirit? What is the zodiac energy spirit? We got Capricorn. What is the zodiac energy? Thank you. We have Uranus. Aquarius on the bottom. Virgo. Well, Okay. That's a whole lot of earth and air. Let's put you two together like that. Okay. Where are we going, spirit? Angels and ancestors want to go first. Sheriff, is that you? Sheriff's in town. Sheriff's in town. You look tired, man. He's leaning up against his horse, looking like he just got done doing something. Tracking down bandits in a sense and being shown succubuses, incubuses. Still in this holy war? Yeah, it's round two. Fight. Damn. Somebody's ancestors are being put through the ringer, man. Big fucking time. See, if you're new to the channel, let me explain who the sheriff is. There's a divine masculine out there in our collective that comes from possibly a long line of cowboys. I don't know. There's a lot of cowboy energy that surrounds this particular uh energy and this ancestor is this particular divine masculine's father i've seen him often um and this particular holy war is putting him through the ringer he is going through round two right now shoving a fucking big ass brown boot up somebody's ass divine masculine yeah with the big time all right let's see what this ancestor has to say all right, Sheriff, what you got to say? Holy Spirit, what does this Sheriff have to say? What do we got to say? All right. The Lord. Take charge with authority. Okay. Are you... So what's going on? Is this, is this Divine Masculine trying to take charge with authority? He was, but he got knocked down to size. Flip the, somebody flipped the switch on this particular... Sorry, I got to... Um, somebody flipped the switch on this particular masculine. Is that right? Yes. And now some, there's not only one brown boot going up somebody's ass. There's a multitude. However, somebody's higher self is still projecting around this particular masculine with protective energy. Possibly his divine feminine's higher self is still protecting him in a sense. But there's, there's some, this divine feminine took charge with authority and uh, now put the, basically took the role of the one in complete control of the situation. Retreat and recharge. Divine Masculine needs to retreat and recharge. Oh no, that's what you're doing, Sheriff, huh? Yeah, this particular ancestor is re, is had to retreat from the situation because of the amount of hell this masculine was putting him through. I guess he's taking a time out and having to recharge to go back in for round two. Yeah, because the fact of the matter is, is that there's something going on. We have fire guardian, so there could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that could be involved here too. Ignite your passion. Did something this divine feminine do ignited the passion within this masculine? No, it put him into a deep depression, despair. Why? Because he's not getting what he wants. He's a spoiled fucking brat. What's on the bottom? Sun, possible Leo. 
enjoy success and happiness. The divine feminine is. Is she also retreating and recharging? Yes. Working on self-care, self-love, being grateful, working on gratitude, working on her spiritual practices. Finding passion within that and allowing it to ignite her soul. And enjoying the, the, the happiness that is the success of her own empowerment. She's feeling very, very, very empowered. And the whole point of that being said is that all of this empowerment that's going to this feminine is coming. It, it's basically like the card I have that all of the energy, everything that you energetically stole is going to be taken back and then some. That's exactly what this is. And all the karma and all of that, this particular sheriff is not only trying to shove his foot up his ass, this masculine's ass, he's also trying to protect him from, I'm being told, a witch coven that could very well be attacking him and every energy around him. So this particular ancestor is running his little wings to death, trying to keep teach this person a lesson, protect him and everybody else that's surrounding him. What else, spirit? What else, Spirit? We have an oracle. Wait for important information. Embrace the energy of peace and bask in joy and light. Was somebody given a message? Masculine. Did he heed it? No. Did not heed the warning. My watch is being weird. Somebody needs to go on the charger and reboot. Anyway. Okay. Somebody got an intuitive, intuitive message from that particular ancestor. Other ancestors tried to express this. Didn't want to listen to it. The thing is, is this feminine heeded those warnings, paid attention, listened to what they were supposed to listen to. And now they're basking in the joy and the light and enjoying the success and, and enjoying success and happiness and embracing the energy that, of the peace that's overwhelming her from all of this. She literally has found her feminine empowerment, her female empowerment, and she's basking in the, in the light and the glow, glow and the joy of all of that. She feels very successful, even if some people would just look at it as a very minor thing, standing in her power and standing by her boundaries. You know, most people would be like, aren't you supposed to do that anyway? But for this particular person, it was something that took a, a great deal of willpower to do because I'm being told that this was a twin flame situation. This particular feminine knew all about it, had real feelings for the situation, and it, it was at that point you know spirit was like okay look this is i'm going to bless you with something right now it's going to come early because you deserve to know you have been obedient you have done everything i've asked you to do now you get your reward and that was to be able to release the situation and go towards what they want and now there's a lot of work that needs to be done and i'm being told in the form of journaling meditation prayer spiritual baths spiritual walks and when i mean spiritual walks getting out by yourself no tech you can bring your pets if you want to if you have them you got kids you know if they're able to be you know quiet and calm and push them in the stroller like you want this time to be clear-minded and out in, in nature by yourself because you've got a lot of work that you've got to do and it involves messages from spirit that need to be written down so make sure you're constant if you got a notepad on your phone keep it manned and ready if you have a way to keep note cards on you keep them keep a notebook because you've got a lot of things that are going to start getting you're going to get downloads you're going to get downloads and you need to get these downloads it's going to help you build your empire divine feminine it's going to help you build your empire be fearless and stand strong absolutely don't be afraid to be alone don't feel like you need to put the headphones on to go and be uh, to to block out the, the silence you need right now you need to be fearless in that silence you need to stand strong in that silence you need to stand strong in your your hermit mode because the thing is is you've got a lot to do You've got a lot to do, Divine Feminine. You can take a moment to relax, breathe, recover. You know, if you guys have been, you know, fighting a, a holy war, it's okay to take a moment to retreat and recharge for a second, but don't let yourself fall off your grind. 
right now you need to really get down with with spirit you know i'm being told read your spiritual literature there's messages in there that will help you with your spiritual practice on the bottom of the deck time take time to reflect yes reflect on your life count your blessings for every little blessing every little thing you want to make sure you're counting them okay reflect on everything take a moment to understand why things are happening in the way that they're happening and be appreciative be grateful for what you have because the thing is is there somebody that's that shares your soul right now that's literally getting run wrong through the ringer how bad spirit is it big yeah it's big it's really big and it's just going to get even bigger okay just going to get even bigger. Yes. Can I talk about this? No. Can I give some kind of inclination of what's going on in my head right now, Spirit? Archangel Gabriel, no? Okay. And why are you showing this to me? Oh, really? Is it going to be a big change? Is it going to be the last time? Okay. Sorry, guys. Personal message. I hate to not be able to share it, but I'm an obedient woman to spirit. Somebody's making a, a big change somewhere. I'm allowed to say it like that? Okay. So for you guys in the collective, listen. There's somebody out there, a masculine, that's getting ready to make a humongous change. How? Please explain to me. Show me how I can explain this. He's putting everything into one pot and going your way. No, what? He's considering putting it in all one pot and going your way. I get the thumbs up. Why? He wants to be near a manifester. Air guardian, shift your perception. We have uh, Uranus here, so Aquarius. We had the fire element and we had air element. Fire and air on polar opposites of the chart. Could, like I said, this is a twin flame situation. This is a twin flame channel. Now, what does this have to say about all this spirit? What are our romance angels have to say? I just see this. Can I please talk about this? No just see somebody making decisions sitting there con we'll just say it like this i see a masculine making contemplative decisions do i need to get notepads at the ready okay i feel like i'm gonna get a message for something Now, what else, Spirit? What does the Romance Angels have to say? Does somebody realizing how much he loves somebody? My intuition's telling me yes. Is it scaring you? Oh, yeah. Just 
just a second, please. Somebody needs to let go of control issues so they can have a reconciliation and, um, yeah, heal what they need to heal so they can have a new love with their soulmate, twin flame, twin flame, soulmate. Yes. I'm sorry. Is it a twin flame connection? Is this twin flame journey over? Is somebody's twin flame journey over spirit? being shown point down does this masculine want it to be over yes does this feminine want it to be over okay so i need to be very clear on this each human being holds masculine and feminine energy now in this particular situation the divine masculines the person who's in the ma masculine body this lifetime has the feminine energy and then, of course, the female has the masculine energy, okay? The thing is, is the masculine here, do you want it to be over? No, does your, this, the female? Yes. The one person who has the female body wants it to be over. The one in the masculine body does not. He wants to be in a new love situation that requires a reconciliation and requires him to let go of control issues. The thing is, is somebody needs to let this unfold naturally. I'm being told stay away from black magic spell work because you're going to let leave it in the hands of the Most High God. Leave it in the hands of the Most High God because this could be the one. And if you start messing with shit you don't understand, you could very well throw the whole thing into a cycle where it takes longer than it should or it could very well throw it to the point where it throws it to the wolves and the twin flame journey is over somebody needs to be playful and not be so damn spoiled stop being so playful and this is what be playful with the right person not the majority of the people that you're being playful with there should only be one that you're focusing on, not trying to share your wealth and, and your love with everybody in the world. It's safe for you to love. There's a lot of passion, but somebody needs to work on the trust. I'm being, I'm being told that it can't just be passion. It can't just be playfulness. There has to be trust. And if you need to understand that it's safe for you to love this person, okay? It's safe for you to love this person. And once you start to realize that the love is really there and you guys are, you know, you get that reconciliation, have these heart-to-heart -heart conversations, get rid of any codependencies that you have and realize that you have romantic feelings, passion, and playfulness with this person for a reason. You need to stay optimistic about it. You need to stay optimistic about it and, and work towards having these heart-to-heart -heart conversations. If you want that reconciliation, that could be with the one that you need to be with. But I'm being told that it is extraordinarily important for somebody to detox. Big fucking time. Put the damn bottle and drugs down. Work on your religious factors. Work on your religious factors. What else, spirit? 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 I'm being told flowers, chocolates, and rainbows aren't going to fix this. 
sincere apologies, heart to heart conversations, an actual, I mean, sincere where like it, it you got to pull out all the stops. You got to hold, you can't hold back. If you feel like you should be on your knees groveling, that may very well be what you need to do. And uh, close any distances to heal this because this separation could very well be why you guys are needing to re, uh, reconcile and have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Possibly because of deception and bullshit. I'm also being told because these codependencies I'm being shown. What is this? Tramps. Gambling. Mostly tramps. Some gambling, tramps, uh, drugs, alcohol, anything you could be codependent on, this person's codependent on, specifically money. Yeah, and because of all of those uh, codependencies and all of that nonsense, there's a lot of red flags, which uh, I'm being, is that true? Is that why? Okay, so the reason why they're in this separation and they need to have these heart to hearts and this reconciliation needs to happen is because there was too many fucking red flags due to codependencies and somebody got done and, and lost a lot of trust for, lost all the trust, I'm being told, all the trust for somebody. And um, yeah, so somebody needs to heal that so that people can feel safe to love this person. There's that deception. There's that deception. Was somebody not expressing their love properly because of codependencies and deception? Yeah, they didn't want to admit their feelings. They were too busy wanting to play. just the title okay free yourself yeah free yourself from any of this codependencies free yourself from all of that it really i'm being told detox 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 because you're that shit is making you throw up red flags causing you uh, being hella deceptive being hella deceptive you need to start making the effort because are you starting to realize that you should that it was worth the wait? No, that's not what it is. Is that this you shouldn't have made this person wait this long? Yeah. And you should have made more of an effort. You shouldn't have been giving to so many. You should have been giving to the one that showed you unconditional love. The one that was trying to trust you, the one that was giving you a real chance. That was trying to look past your red flags and trying to trust you, trying to give you you know, what you said you wanted and you were lying the whole time. Anything else? Anything else, spirit, on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, allow this attraction to your soulmate to help you heal so you guys can get back to flirting. Oh, there's an X. There's an X. There's soulmates on both sides that need to be released if this is going to happen. The thing is, is I'm being defined feminine doesn't want to release her ex because she doesn't want to let, she wants to let this go. She doesn't want it. She wants to release the whole situation. Is she being obedient to spirit? Yeah, a little bit. She's, I guess everybody that is able to be a part of this on the 5D, in the 5D, is doing everything that they can, everything they can, to try to help her see what spirit wants her to see. But her eyes are only for one. Yeah. I'm being told she feels like her heart and soul is there with this particular person. Be 
care where your soul goes after this life. I'm being his head shaking and then shaking and then shaking and then up and down. Yes, and he's back and forth. He's like, he's starting to be awakened to what reality is. And he's starting to say, I, I don't know. He's on the fence. He's stuck on the, in the in-between. My soul needs, yeah. Mm -mm. How could you be stuck on burning in the pits or ascending to the highest white light? Like, um, my vote is to go to the white light. Yep, I want to go be with my ancestors. I don't want to go to that pit. I've been in enough mosh pits in my life to know that's something I don't want to deal with on a regular basis. Anybody ever wondered what this is from over here, the scar? From a mosh pit. Yep, because I'm I'm that badass. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the only pit Gigi gets into is a mosh pit. Okay. That's the only pit people should want to get into, not the pits of hell, bro. Okay. See, the thing is, is you can get it how you live as long as you ain't deceptive, lying, and manipulating the situation. Get it how you live. Just do it the right fucking way, bro. If you want your cake and you want to eat it too, I mean, if you get involved with people that are cool with that, then groovy. If you're trying to manipulate people that stand in traditional values that don't see it like that, then you shouldn't be getting to know. You shouldn't be forcing nothing on nobody because you spoiled and fucking entitled narcissistic asshole. Sorry. Don't just react. Sorry, I will not just react, spirit, but you're giving it to me hard right now energetically. How many more? Four, total seven. How many? Three from the bottom. Four from the top. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay. Your games made you look like an actual fool. Yeah, because now you're sitting there trying to get all your eggs in one basket, trying to figure out what you want to do because that big brown boot that's karma is going up your ass. Like Gigi's been saying, your ancestors are putting that boot up your fucking ass with that ego death that you're feeling with them towering, crumbling at towers. Yeah, how does that ego death feel? It doesn't feel very good, does it? You shouldn't have just reacted, huh? You shouldn't have just reacted to the lust of your loins. You should have... Uh, Taken off the rose-colored glasses and the beer goggles and all of the uh, quit with the intoxicants that put you in this position. Now you get to watch me with that soulmate enjoy the entertainment. Yeah, that soulmate, yeah, this, this divine feminine is heart set on. Yeah, that's the one he's about to watch her with because of what he did. Darling, I don't need no princes. I'm no damsel in distress. No, she ain't. She took off the rose-colored glasses, realized that you were uh, who you are. You needed a big brown boot up your ass that is karma, and you needed a serious ego death because this person's finding balance and not trying to just react and step out of their divinity to, to whatever. Okay? This person is literally telling you right now, Sir, I don't need you to be my prince. I'm not a damsel in distress. I don't need this shit. I don't need you to be my prince charming. I don't need to be saved by you because I'm already saved. You don't need to save me. I'm already saved. Understood? That is what this divine feminine is saying. Okay? No one got me like you did. Well, you shouldn't have. You should have taken that. Uh, shouldn't have taken it for granted. And you lived happily ever after. Your soul is being freed from your doubts. You're the only one that can break my heart. Well, this person got you like no one else did. And because of that, because I'm being told they loved you unconditionally... They treated you with respect. They did all the things that you really, truly wanted in a relationship, possibly with the person you're in a relationship on the real rail, did everything you wanted this other person to do, but you refused to see it for what it was because you were too in, too involved with being in control of the situation, thinking that if you were to uh, have your cake and eat it too, you were going to live happily ever after. But the thing is, is you didn't find balance. You did what you wanted to do. You manipulated, you deceived people, you lied to people cause trust issues okay and now you need to be uh brought down to size so that way your soul can be freed from the doubts that is your bullshit ego okay because there's somebody that had that that can break your heart that didn't get that got you like no one else did is she breaking your heart oh yeah putting him right on his fucking knees mm-hmm 
you know, as somebody that's, if you are into S&M, you understand what I'm about to say. I'm a switch that can be a very big brat, okay? But the thing is, is I can also be extraordinarily dominant depending on the person I'm with. Now, I, what I'm seeing this masculine in, I'm feeling very, uh, I'm channeling my dominatrix side and I'm seeing this man on his knees with his hands behind his back with his head bowed and it's making me feel a certain kind of dominatrix kind of way. Mm hmm like I like seeing this particular man in this particular pose like he needs to be put on his knees and taught to be a submissive because the thing is is he truly is on the inside but this big ass ego that is controlled by these codependencies um, clouded what he really was because he liked the feeling of being empowered because I guess he was too much of a submissive in one of his relationships and got walked all over because he was with the wrong type of dominant Somebody took advantage of him. And now he thinks he's got uh, some cojones. But the thing is, is uh, if, if this is somebody's chart right here, or if any of this is in anybody's chart, there's only one masculine energy on this board, and that's the Aquarius energy. These two here, very feminine energies. Very feminine energies. Okay? So... And because I'm being told that this particular in the 3D man has the feminine energies, one of these two could be in his uh, rising, okay? Somebody needs to meditate more divine feminine, divine masculine. People need to start journaling more. Are you considering letting the one who broke your heart come back? I'm being told soulmate, divine feminine? No, divine masculine. The one in the, in the feminine body? Yes. What did this person do? Ghosted. Well, the thing is, if somebody get well, if somebody ghosted you, who ghosted you? I'm just being soul soulmate. Why aren't you releasing him? Because she feels like her heart and soul belong to him. So yeah, she's considering it. The thing is, is you need to rise up from the ashes and show the world the, the new you in order to have it. No, just in general. So you can move on and stay away from any deep depressions because this masculine, he's in a very serious deep depression. Very, very This man is in a serious deep depression. You best believe I'm protecting my energy from you. Yeah, she's protecting her energy from you. Her ancestors are protecting her energy from you. The Holy Spirit's protecting her energy from you. The angels are protecting her energy from you. This, uh, your ancestors are protecting her energy from you. Like they don't, they nobody wants this person to be affected by this darkness anymore. And this is the one in the man body. Yes. Who cares if you like the new me or not? I love me. And now I'm breaking the chain that is this vicious cycle that may even revolve around deep depression. The thing is, is if you start meditating more, that deep depression will go away. If you release it to spirit, that deep depression will go away. I promise you. What else, spirit? What else, spirit? Just you, you, boo. Yes. Yes. And realize, divine and masculine, man, yes, you, sir, uh, I'm not a toy. My feelings were real, and you wronged me for the last time. I'm not like those other girls. How do you claim to follow God when you willingly cheat? Please explain this. Are you claiming to be a spiritual, God-fearing man, and you're off being a, a malicious, vindictive, liar, cheater, manipulator, deceptive, disgusting, ew? Mm-hmm. Please explain this. How could you lie about God like that? Hmm? No wonder why you got towers coming across around you when you're in a deep depression. Because you ain't using uh, your divinity for the right things and you're stepping out of your divinity and you're turning to the dark side, man. How many from here, spirit? Three from the bottom. Any from the top? Just three. Don't go back. It will only hurt you again. Yeah, you need to break that... 
No, uh, hell no, I won't be your whore. Yeah, because you're a cheater and this person doesn't want anything to do with it. You want romance? Romance yourself. Yeah, go find another way to heal that doesn't involve getting involved with six, seven, eight different people on top of the person you're either engaged to, married to, or in a long committed relationship with. Because these, these, this woman is saying, I will not be your whore. I will not be your whore. I will not go back again because it will only hurt too much because you lie and you are a deceptive prick. Mm -hmm. Anything else from here, spirit? Anything else from here? Do you want me to pull any other decks? How many from here? Five, three, and then two. Okay, one, two, three, one, two. Love yourself first. Be your own hero. Oh, somebody's thanking God it's over because they want to be their own hero and break their own. And these chains, the way they're going to do it is by loving themselves first. You may look good on the outside, but your insides are darker than the devil's ass. I feel so free now that your toxic energy is out of my life. Yeah, that's what this divine feminine is saying. When I say divine feminine, it's the female in this in in the in the 3D. Okay, energy. Take it, flip it, reverse it. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. yeah the, all the things. Do what you got to do here. Okay, to make it fit where it needs to fit. Take it how it resonates, guys. Okay, this is. I'm just gonna say it how it comes out of my mouth, the way she, spirit shows me. Okay, in this particular case, the divine feminine holds the masculine energy. The divine masculine holds the feminine energy, okay? Divine masculine, you may look good on the outside, but your insides are darker than the devil's ass. And I'm being told because of all these intoxicants and bullshit, your outsides are starting to look like your insides. And time waits for no one. And I'm being told that you're getting much older in life. And if you don't get your shit to a detox and get that shit out of your system, your life expectancy is going to be diminished significantly because time waits for no one to get their shit in a pile it's just going to keep going the way it should in divine time because this is we're here to serve the most high god okay drowning out their feelings with booze and drugs i can't make this shit up i can't guys i can't create your dream life it's possible yeah that's all going to be for this divine feminine She's going to be her own hero, realizing that time waits for no one and she's got shit to do. She wants to love herself, break the chains, do what she got to do, meditate more, you know, be, yeah. She doesn't want to, she wants her happily ever after. She doesn't want to be with somebody that plays games that makes themselves look like a fool, that just lies, lies, manipulates, cheats, steals, whatever the case may be, an energy vampire, divine masculine turned incubus. Money hungry. I want to just call you a money hungry whore, man. Like that is exactly what you are thinking with your, your privates and not your freaking heart. How many from here? Spirit five, one, two, three, four, five, two more from the top. One, two. It's time for a level up. Divine masculine. You need a level up. Yeah. And that's just in your own personal, uh, self growth. Divine Feminine is about to get uh, a level up here, possibly, possibly with some money. The time has come for you to lay in that bed you made for yourself, Divine Masculine, that bed of nails. Yeah, so long, Twin Flame journey, off to freedom. That's what this this female is trying to break it. She's trying to break the chain that is this Twin Flame journey. She didn't want nothing to do it no more. Spirit, everybody's trying to hold her out because there's something that she has to be, she has to be a part of this for a reason. Why? Because it's literally, if the thing is, this is what I'm being told. If this divine feminine walks away completely and releases it, and because, God, will you let her? And why, no, you don't want to let her do it. Free will. There is free will, but he wants to try to lead her down the path where she will end up being able to trust him. The thing is, is it has to be done on her own free will. She has to be led down the path to where she does it on her own. God will not force her to do this. It has to be done on her, on her own accord. And if she stays prayed up and meditated and all of those things, she will walk down this path willingly, but it will be because of God's guidance and she will be obedient to God. Okay, that's what's keeping her in her divinity. The thing is, she doesn't want to. So that's why everything is being placed the way it needs to be placed and things are being said, conversations are being had, relationships are being mended in certain ways for a reason. Because 
it's all triggering these towers to come around this particular masculine to open up his eyes the way he needs to be opened because this is a dark night of the soul that he is going through and it's all because this feminine is glowing up possibly nurturing their inner child playing more being silly staying away from things that make put her into a deep depression because she's breaking them cycles possibly because she's meditating more all right because she's she, like i keep saying this girl does not want nothing to do with this man anymore because she's she's done had it with him she knows her worth and God knows everything that this person was lying about. And he's been telling her in a way that she needed to know, okay? Because he wants her to have her happily ever after with this person. Because it's going to be beneficial to the both of them. I'm being told patience and obedience. Excuse me. Excuse me. Confirmation by that belch. What else? These fucking masculines, man. I swear it. Why may why why they why they like this? Somebody needs to tell me. I need God, are you ever gonna let me in on that secret as to why men are this way? I'm getting the nope. <laughs> I don't understand it. It's not for me to understand, I'm assuming. Do you want another deck? Can we pull out love and confusion one? No, which one? Three? Love and confusion, which one? Okay. <sighs> have a date with yourself. Somebody needs to have a date with themselves. I'm being said, get yourself cute. Go get your little tootsies done. Get your little manicure. Get your little haircut. Do you, boo boo. And then go get your ass to a movie. Go take your ass out to a nice meal. Looking good. Smelling good. Feeling good. Get you a new pair of shoes. Whoa. Create your dream life. It's possible. And it may just very well start with taking your ass out to dinner. That sounds like a really good idea. I may go visit my old people at my old job. Have dinner there. I haven't seen them in so long. Alright. What else? Let's see. Where's Love and Confusion 3? Time for healing. Yeah, y'all need to heal. Masculine, you need to get through this dark night of the soul in one piece so you can heal, bro. Because it looks like you you destined for something really cool. But the thing is, is you right now, you don't look like you deserve it, man. Like, you look like you deserve that ass whooping. You deserve that ass whooping, my friend. What it does this love and confusion deck have to say? What does love and confusion have to say? Oh, what does it have to say? What does it have to say? Love and confusion. It's time to figure it out. What do we got going on? Sorry, I I have a child. I've, everything turns into nursery rhymes with me. I apologize. Okay, spirit. What do we have to do here, spirit? What do we got to say? What do we have to say? It's okay to be vulnerable. Okay. That was part of this masculine's problem. Okay. Is he didn't like how emotional this woman made him. Didn't like to see these feminine energies coming out of themselves. Because he's a man's man. Okay. Man's man. I'm being shown the image of a marine. Like, that's what, you know, that's an image he wants to be portrayed as. A hero. Did you, do you deserve to be treated as a hero? I'm being told like this. Did you do something that was worthy of it? You were supposed to. Okay. Are you lying about something that could very well be looked down upon, frowned upon by people who were, are actual heroes? Yeah. It's, embarrass it's an embarrassment. Is that part of the reason you're afraid of disappointment? Mm. Okay. Now, as a veteran, I'm going to just say this. I've, look, 
I've come re, watch all my videos. I've talked about it. I got my ass booted the fuck out of the service because I was being stupid with drugs. Okay, I know that. I know what I did. I am not embarrassed to say what I did. I have healed. I have been in recovery for 14 years, my friends. It will be on January 17th. This coming year will be my 15 year mark. Coming and being sober. Okay. So, in the beginning, up until a certain point, I was lying about how I got out. I lied to everybody but my family, like, the majority of my, there's parts of my family that still don't know, okay? And one day I'll have to come out about that, but that is what it is. No big deal, all right? The thing is, is I lied because I was embarrassed, okay? The thing is, is if you need to have them heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you're going to need to be vulnerable. You're going to have to come clean about all the things. Mm -hmm. All the things. All the things, right down to the very beginning. There's so much more to you than meets the eye. Yeah, because you were being lying. You were lying. You were being deceptive. How many? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, you need to be vulnerable and you need to let people in. If you want somebody to call down from their tower with sweet words of love, you're gonna have to. Because they got their fucking eyes on you, man. They're not playing. They don't trust you. And you want to show them the world? Okay, now I can talk about it. All right, thank you, Spirit. So when I was sitting here writing this out, Spirit was giving me a, play, a bunch of places and saying that you guys will be seeing all of these places, Ireland, Japan, Tokyo, China, Thailand, Maui, Guam, Europe, Italy, France, Germany, Scotland, and the list kept going on. But this person wants to take you there. He wants to put all his resources into one pot and just give it all to you. Okay, the thing is, is he's not fully there yet. He needs this big ass ego death, this big ass brown boot going way up his ass. Yeah, before that they can do all that, okay? So even when you're angry, keep your intentions, thoughts, and actions positive. It keeps things balanced so it can set, settle faster. Yeah, that's, that's by staying in your divinity, it will settle things faster. It will also help people have uh, the tower of moments that they need to get them where they need to be. So like I've been saying, don't say, don't straight, stay consistent. I've always said this, stay consistent. I need to take this one for me too, because right now this weather is, and I've been working so much. I have not taken a break. I'm taking this Saturday to just do readings and just hibernate. Yep. I have, because when I get to be burnt out, I stray from, I start to stray from my routines and we need to remind ourselves to take care of ourselves, love ourselves Okay, please never stop loving me like you do. Did you think she was going to? No, you thought you were going to have her in your corner forever the way you wanted her. Yeah, this person was a manipulative shit, but the thing is, is God was like, enough is enough now. Enough is enough now. It's time for you to grow up. Because if you never want this person to stop loving me, or loving, excuse me, if you want this person to never stop loving you the way that she does, then you better get to step in and get your ass in fucking gear because, yeah. If you're just popping off and don't just react, that was the first card that came out of new, uh, whatever deck it was just that I had out. Time for healing. That was the first card that came out. Don't just react. Stop. Absorb. Contemplate. React. Process the situation. Your love heals my broken heart. Well, it yeah. That's why spirit and your ancestors are trying to get y'all to realize what's going on. They're making you realize with the big time and they're trying to keep her heart open enough for you to keep it to where there's even a possibility. I'm being shown a fraction of a fucking possibility because this person only wants positive vibes around them. Not any low vibrational energy. How many spirit? One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. That was exactly seven. Thank you. Now this person's love has them in a trance, realizing this person's their muse and realize they should have gotten out of this shell and allowed this person to bring out their vulnerable side and allowed them to bring out their artist, I'm being told, artistic side, big time with the artistics. Because their love had them in a trance that had their minds swirling around all different kinds of ideas 
and they wanted to bring this person out of their shell with creative endeavors. Use your artistic talents to show me how you see me through your eyes. Yep, and that's because this person is their muse. I want to be better so I can have you all to myself forever. Now, now, now. This person, no, this person was told you what happened. I'm trying to get this. This is confusing. You were telling this person you want to have, you want to be better so that they can be better for them. But in reality, it wasn't true. And they're, they were sick of those, decept that deception, those red flags and said, pump, the, chill out, pump the brakes, get in your lead. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I'm done. I only want positive vibes. I don't care how much you want to show me the world. I know my worth. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. What else, spirit? You want me to draw from the top? All right. Find your way back home. Yeah, you need to detox. Possibly need to find your way back home so you can detox. I'm being told somebody needs to spend more time with family. The positive families. Positive, positive family members find your way back home and you're like home yeah to your divine feminine ah well that's that deception those red flags she felt like you were up to something your babies need your love yes even your pets well the thing is is because this pulled back this person pulled back her power from this masculine is claiming all the energy and then some that he took from her and now going and spending time with her family angel number third 133 give your fears doubts and worries to the angels and the ascended masters so that they can tra be trans transmuted and healed trust that they support you completely surround you with love and protection trust that the universal energies are working things out for your highest good Yes, and that's the thing is spirit doesn't want you to let this person go, Divine Feminine. Keep sending love and light, but do you because it's you're doing exactly what you need to do, but you need to pray and meditate more so that way you can continue to shine like the sun that you are. Stay in your divinity, learn your lessons, heal and grow. You need to spiritually and emotionally continue to grow. You've hit major milestones. You've matured. The thing is, is you need to become a different kind of master you know what i'm saying a spiritual master they want you to learn every bit about that you can in this lifetime they they're downloading sacred knowledge into you by allowing you to be who you are as the divine feminine okay you bring heaven to earth and you shine like an angel you could very well be like a, an earth angel we do exist yes we do okay the more I go through my, my, my spiritual walk, the more I realize what spirit was trying to tell me in the beginning with my spiritual awakening, you know, showing me different images of myself as my higher self, showing me different things. Like, you know, I got, when I first was awakened, I was given an image of possibly being an earth angel. And as things progress and I see my gifts unfolding and prog progressively getting more intense, I'm starting to see why. So with a friend like you who needs an enemy, why is that? Because just one word that could very well be one phrase of go away could feel like a stab in the back or a stab in the heart. So why would they want somebody that would actually stab them in the back or the heart when they have somebody like you that can emotionally put them on their knees and uh, make them feel like there's nothing in the world that they can do to get out of this deep dark depression crawl up from this the hole that they dug themselves in because you shine like the sun and without you the darkness lingers so why would they want enemies when the person that they love the most that can put them on their knees and be the only one that breaks their heart why would they want an enemy when they have you a hater's dream are you hate who's hating Oh, there's a soulmate, female soulmate. Ooh, I don't like the looks of this person. Oh, hell no. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Excuse you. What's your nasty attitude, please? Excuse me? Oh, no. We don't like attitude like you. Let me get my crystals. Let me get my crystals, boo, because we don't like you. We want to channel this. What is this? What kind of darkness you want? Don't you know darkness is allowed around here, boo? You need to get your sea witch attitude up out of here with that ass. Don't be no hater. Don't be hating on no divine feminine that shines like the sun. We only want positive vibes around here, hater. 
Sea witch alert, sea witch alert, want, 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 sea witch alert. Ego, big time ego, very shallow, very shallow, evil, very dark. Oh, somebody jealous and envious of that body, yaddy, yaddy, that the f divine feminine's got. Oh, she got body and you jelly? You think that it's because what she looked like that you get and you possibly get and left and all the little sweet sugar that you're this masculine been giving you going right to the divine feminine where it belongs? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We only want to, we only want positive vibes. Now you need to get up out of here with all that hate and nonsense, please. I'm going to pray for you. Yes, please. Holy Spirit, channel some love in this woman's heart because she needs to get up out of this jealous energy with this energy that's with the envy because she looking where's that card that says you're you're you might be pretty on the outside but your insides are darker than the devil's ass yes that is this this sea witch over here this wanna be player this wanna be fucking og divine feminine you ain't an og divine feminine you are a fucking copycat karmic that jealous over that divine body mm -hmm. that body yaddy yaddy mm -hmm. Oh, you think that that money that's going to Divine Feminine is coming to you to get some kind of... Mm -hmm. I've seen your energy before. I know you. I know you. I've seen you coming through my collective since the beginning. Oh, no. Oh, Lord. The true sea witch has arrived with her nasty, jealous, envious bullshit. Yes. Yes. Here's that round two. Fight. Yes. So what we got? We got... All right. We got Scarlet here. If you guys are Mortal Kombat fans, we got Scarlet here. That's the divine feminine. She about, oh, you want to be Sonya? Okay, you could be Sonya. Uh, who are you? All I see is Freddy Krueger. <laughs> because this broad might be hot. She might be a hottie on the outside, okay? But her insides are darker than the devil's ass. And God is showing me who, oh, excuse me. Archangel Gabriel is giving me the Im image of Freddy Krueger trying to come up against Sonya from Mortal Kombat. And all I see is, Pah! with the rings going, yeah, and he gets, yeah, that's it. She she don't even need to break a sweat. It don't even need round two over here. What's the round two for? Because she's taken your ass down before. Now we just need a freaking a, a round two to completely take her ass out. To finally TKO you and be the fuck done with it. Okay. Freddy fucking Krueger. That is the what the insides of this person look like. That is what the insides of this person look like, Freddy Krueger. The darker than the devil's ass. I really want a real chance with you. Who's this? Divine Masculine. You want a real chance with who? Just being he soulmate. Why? Because you think she's divine feminine? No, it's because of what she looks like on the outside. But he don't he don't care what she she looks like on the inside. It's about what looks like on the outside. Does she suit your personality more? No, it's just more about the ego. I pray I don't mess this chance up. I really know it's my last chance. And oh, oh, see, that's the thing. You ended it pre. You didn't want to end it, did you? No, you were in a fit of rage. He was in a fit of rage. He 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 just reacted, and he knows that it was his last chance. I'm being told she asked you, are you sure you want to, you sure you want to do this because this is your last chance and you were willing to risk it? Oh yeah. And now you, uh, because you wanted to go sexually hallucinate with this karmic sea witch. I can't stop thinking about what it'll feel like to finally touch you. Pay attention to the moon phases, yeah. And the, also the retrogrades. You know that Mercury, Mercury retrograde? Yeah, that one was a fucking doozy. Those rose-colored glasses? Yeah, that was them. Okay, yeah. And now, now because you wanted to sexually hallucinate with a sea witch, and you weren't paying attention to the moon phases, paying attention to what your heart was saying, realizing that this was your real last chance, and you done fucked it up, messing with the sun... Trying to get involved with a, a fucking karmic sea witch that's hating on your feminine. I'm being told she's stalking like I like stalking like Freddy Krueger in somebody's dreams. What is that in my sleeve? Piece of something. That was weird. Okay. And now you can't stop thinking about your divine feminine and wanting to touchy feely lovey canoodle canoodle hearts and rainbows wanting rainy day cuddles and ice cream wanting to love up on her i'm seeing all the cutesies 
making out on the couch and under a warm blankie with the touchy feelies. Yeah, I'm being if somebody wants the, the 18 plus deck, and I'm telling no, you can you can go away with all that. Okay, yes. Look, this sea witch legit stalking. This sea witch legit sending nasty toxic energy. Very well could be the leader of a coven. I'm being shown of possibly four to six people. And I'm being shown these four to six people are also stalking Divine Feminine, trying to throw her off, sending, possibly sending dark, nasty messages, trying to throw her off her game, get her to step out of her divinity, possibly uh, attacking her social media, trying to make her feel less, th less about herself, whatever the case may be, sending private messages, trying to say certain things and then, you know, trying to get her out of her divinity. But when she proves who she is, they come running back for forgiveness. What else, spirit? Let me pr prove my love to you. It's going to take an act of God. Bring heaven to earth. You shine like an angel. We saw it already. Prove to me, let me prove my love to you. The thing is, it's going to act. Look, it's going to pretty much take a, a physical act of God that the whole world will know. Like, let's, let's just say it like this. If you want to prove your love to somebody, and I'm being shown the word engagement, you might want to have the news there. You may want to have people, photographers, like you need to, like the whole world needs to know. Like every major news station, the newspapers, the whole internet, the whole world needs to be shown what you're doing. Like if, if anybody that is anybody knows, if anybody that's stalking, if there, there, there needs to be no hesitation. Like if you, y'all get engaged, the whole world needs to know y'all get married. It needs to be televised, like live feed, like people watching that ring, signing of the documents, like the whole world needs to know, like it needs to be so big that nobody, nobody would have any reason to doubt you know what I'm saying? That's how big. Like, lasso that moon, okay, and bring that shit the fuck down here and hand it to her because it's going to take an act like that to prove your fucking love to this person because they is no trust. I want, all I want is all that you are. It's that unconditional love you were being shown that's now putting you in this position to where you're seeing that earth angel for exactly who the fuck she is. But you got involved with a hater. You realize that this person wears that, uh, and they lived happily ever after. Yeah, that's that's that wish come true, total wish fulfillment. Spirits really, really, yeah, they're trying. People need to save your money. If you want to take this person to all them places, you better start saving your money. Stop giving it to the sea witch. People are recognizing when your energy's off. Is the sea witch recognizing it? Oh yeah, big time. Why deep depression? Does he want nothing to do with you? Uh, what is it? Just trying to smash and then drink and that's it? No, what is it? It's just drinking and crying? No, just drinking and silence? Yeah, if they're living together or they're engaged or whatever the case is, like he's just drinking and staying in silence like he doesn't want to be bothered. He's not given no attention. He Is he giving you any money? Mm, a little bit. He's probably trying to save his money to run away and that's what's tripping her out. Stop the drug use before you OD. Are you afraid he's going to drink himself into oblivion or do drugs and you're going to have to deal with the OD? No, because she'll probably walk away before it all happens. No matter what, I will always love you. You bring love, light, and joy to my life. It goes both ways. That's why this divine feminine's higher self is still standing by you trying to protect and guide you. I work hard so I can play even harder. The thing is, is you played too fucking hard and you were deceptive and evil about it. And that's what I'm saying. And that's what I did say is if you're going to get it how you live, get it how you live. Believe me, but don't be malicious and deceptive about it. Believe me, when I was younger, before I had my, my, you know, before I decided to get into a long-term relationship, have a baby and build a family and do all the things that I did up until this point, let me tell you a little bit about the Gigi. Ask anybody that knows me from my five years living in Utah. Ask any of them and they'll tell you, I had all the fun. I played very hard. Big hard. Okay. Did all the things. All the things. Okay. Wasn't malicious about it. I had a fucking blast. 
But the thing is, is I prefer to be in a serious relationship with one person because I only have the attention span and the patience for one person. When I start trying to add one, two, three, tried that, I tried the polyamorous thing, didn't work, couldn't do it, have to, I, I got too, um, yeah, mm-hmm. I got control issues. I get a little, I, I, I don't, I don't get jealous no more. I don't have no reason to, but I got some control issues. And if it's mine, it's mine. I don't share well. Okay. I don't share well. So the thing is, is if you want to play, play. Just get involved with like-minded people. Don't try to bring people like myself into situations like this and try to be, you know, to get what you want. Like, you just get to have tower after tower after tower after tower. And then you're going to have an ego death that is somebody's big brown boot put throat kicking your ass to the curb saying a goodbye. Okay? And then it's going to throw you all up into this whole thing where now you all up in this depression, drinking yourself, being in silence, having your little succubus sea witch stalker person that's hating all up on Divine Feminine sitting here noticing thinking that you know it before you even get to the point where you od or you know whatever she's looking at walking away from your ass too because she's recognizing that your energy's off and doesn't want to be involved with it no just know my love for you is unconditional what have i been saying this divine feminine is what loved you unconditionally which is why this is all happening oh man she's singing she took a vow of celibacy for you yep she was singing her heart out for you and her words are manifesting that her singing is what manifests. She was singing your praise and love, wanting you to hurry, hurry, lover, come to her. And now you recognize it up oh, because she the chosen one and so are you. You were her chosen one. Why she took a vow of celibacy for you, which is why all this is happening. She was singing for you, praying for you, took a vow of celibacy for you because she realized you were her chosen one. But the thing is, is your mind was in a dark and scary place dealing with whores. I'm call if it quacks like a duck and it looks like a duck, it's a fucking whore. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, because you got involved with succubuses that want you for your money, okay, that'll let you do all the things and not give two flying shits because all you do is give her this and maybe some good D once in a while. Are you even, you know, I ain't even no good D. Like, that's why she about to walk away from you and you're going to end up, be if you don't stop the drugs and the alcohol, you're going to OD and it's going to be all by yourself and there's not going to be anybody there to help you. And that could very well end up being that fucking, that could be your karma, and I hate to fucking say it because that's scary as shit, man. And I don't wish that on anybody. I don't because I just... Look, I lost my godfather from cirrhosis of the liver. He, man, was too young. I don't like seeing people go down like that. I mean, how many artists did we lose from drugs and alcohol? How many amazing artists have, have we lost? How many people that you know? I mean, how many people I grew up with died from overdosing on heroin and all types of shit, man? Like, is that really how you want to go? Because the deep depression, dark and scary mindsets, you're doing that kind of shit. Because look, you're too beautiful for words. Even though your outsides aren't matching your insides, the thing is, is your insides at one point were too beautiful for words. Why do you think you still hold this title of divine masculine, okay? Which, which is why this freaking ancestor of yours is not only trying to smack you upside the head to get you to realize what's going on, he's still protecting you. Why do you think this divine feminine's higher self is still standing there with her earth angel wings glowing like a freaking golden angel, wrapping her arms in love around you, trying to guide you and protect you? I literally see her with her hands on you, these wings around you, protecting you from darkness. Okay, you have a soul that's too beautiful for words. You're just fucking hiding it because of your fucking addictions. Please live, wake up, to wake me up to what real love is. She did. She did. Okay, she did. And that's why you're going through what you're going through, man. To love you forever would be my greatest pleasure. Tap into your youthful side. Let us heal our relationship and give it a real chance. She was trying. She was trying to get you to do that by tapping into your youthful side, trying to tell you that being with you forever, loving you forever would be her pleasure because it would have been because she loves you unconditionally. How many from here, spirit? Five, four, five. Our first time will be like nothing you ever experienced before because it will be a tantric soul tying connection. 
and all of that sexual hallucination that you were trying to get with this succubus, you're going to have that and then some. Look, you look at this woman's naked skin without seeing no nipple, no coochie, no, no, not even a butt crack, and you bust a load in your fucking pants. I've been, I see your energy. I've been watching you. I've been seeing you come through the collective for a long ass time now, man. You look at this woman and you will bust, just looking at her naked skin makes you want to bust a load in your fucking pants, okay? Like, you need to think about that. You got ED with this one. You can't even get it hard enough for her to sl slob on your knob, bro. Like, you want to try to have sexual hallucinations with the succubus? Yeah, no wonder why you're going down that fucking rabbit hole, bro. Go get you that tantric kunani from that divine feminine of yours and go get your head out of your fucking ass, okay? Tap into your youthful side. Tap into that S&M game if you got that in your system. Do what you do, man. Please, love. She really meant nothing. I learned a lot, and now I'm ready to be yours. Well, like I said, it's going to take an act of God to get your tr the trust back from this person if you want to try to heal that relationship. Those heart-to-hearts and that reconciliation, yeah, you're going to have... Where That's what I've been saying about consistency. Staying on those routines, staying consistent. She wants to blackmail me into giving her money. Oh, Oh, yeah, because she's shallow. She jealous, envious, and she being a fucking hater because she don't realize how connected you and Divine Feminine are. Oh, hang on a second. Are you getting what... Oh, I see you. Okay, I see you too. Are you guys together today? Yeah, are you having the snoo snoo? Are you planning on it? Have you done it yet? Kind of, sort of, you giving her a gift? Are you going to give her a gift? Maybe. Depends on what. How the evening goes. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So this Divine Masculine and the Soulmate are possibly meeting up tonight. Did I do my timeline update? I did, okay. They could very well be meeting up sometime soon. To try to be, you know, he's going to try to connect with her tantrically. He's going to try to use his tantric connection with divine feminine to connect with his, uh, with the soulmate. Try to have a tantric connection with her so he can sexually hallucinate to try to, what are you trying to, trying to use deception in the twin flame journey to be able to get what he wants. He thinks by being manipulative, he's going to try to get, he's going to try to tantrically connect while he's having sex with this, uh, soulmate. So um, that vow of celibacy, divine feminine, keep it in your pants tonight. I'm being told this weekend, especially, you need to keep it in your pants. Do not, no snoo snoo. And if you, no snoo snoo, period, spirit saying, no snoo snoo, period. If you have stepped away from that vow of celibacy, keep it in your pants. Keep it in your pants. I'm being told no, no, no double click in the mouse. No masturbation, no nothing. Get into your prayer spot and pray and meditate every time you feel the urge. Because the thing is, is you're going to have this masculine that could very well be trying to connect with you that way and trying to steal your sexual power and give it to himself through this, this sexual hallucination he may very well be trying to get involved with this weekend. Did I just rat your ass out? Yeah, big time. Sorry. I got the crystal ball for a reason. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ecstasy, cocaine. Are those involved? Are you going to be involved with any of that this weekend in booze? Yes. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. Oh, shit, man. I'm scared for you. Don't be don't be scared for him. No, it's that brown boot. It's that karma. It's those towers. It needs to happen. Anything else, spirit? Yes, I know I'm a seer. <laughs> yes, I know I'm a seer. Is somebody else a seer, too? You got a crystal ball for a brain? See, this is why Gigi got the crystal brain or crystal ball for a brain. Okay. I'm a seer for a reason because I'm the type of girl that will get these fucking messages and straight up just throw your ass under the bus because nobody fucking deserves that. Nobody. Nobody deserves it. 
nobody deserves it. Nobody deserves to have the wool pulled over their eyes like that if they're a good person. So yes, Gigi gets to be a seer for this reason, to help you, to help people. I love that star. It's, I think it's, a, when I first saw it, I thought it was a sunflower because those are my, was I supposed, I didn't even see that. I was too busy looking over here. Um, I was, I thought it was a sunflower. And then when I played it, it was Christmas music. And I think it might be the Christmas star. Take more time to be kind to yourself. Yeah. And that includes like tonight, like I said, don't go out with anybody. Just stay home with your family, relax, hang out, just eat some popcorn, you know, watch a movie. If you got somebody in your life that you're interested in or whatever, if you're getting cute or whatever, just just keep it on the DL, stay in that vow of self, just just for this weekend. Just keep it just keep it in your pants. Just keep it in your pants for a little bit. Be kind to yourself. Take a bubble bath. Go get yourself pampered. Go do something nice for yourself. Please, my love. I need to hear how much I mean to you. My heart aches for your love. That's why he's trying to connect tantrically because he's trying to steal that energy back from you because he doesn't want to face it. He doesn't want to face that heartache. He's too set on what this this succubus can do for him. Does, he, does she make you look good? Yeah, big time. Makes you feel powerful. Okay. She feeds his ego big time. I can't wait to hold you close finally. Please let me show your body how badly I want you. These are all things he could very well be saying to the, the sea witch this weekend. Yeah. But all he's thinking about is you, Divine Feminine. He's going to try to, every time he looks at this woman, she could look like a spitting image of you. Every time he looks at this woman, he may be channeling you. He may try to channel everything about you this weekend. He was going to tell her, let me, let me worship your body. Let me do, he's going to try to connect. He's going to tell her, it's like, I found you're just everything I want. You're my twin flame. You're my, he's going to pull out all the fucking stops. He's trying to hurt you. Your love heals my broken heart, but in all reality, every word that comes out of his mouth is going to be like he's saying it to you because he wants you to think that he actually feels it. But in reality, she's there with him getting all of that. Does she care? Uh, it's nice to hear. It feeds her ego just like it feeds his. Okay. Are you going to get something out of him? She's trying to get pregnant. She wants to try to get knocked up by this guy. If she's not already, she wants to. All right, the ego death. Somebody's going to have a major ego death. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Do not, don't just react. Don't just react. My karmic ex wants to ruin my life. She's not his ex yet, but she will be. And she's going to fucking take him for everything he's worth. If she gets pregnant by him, she's going to take him for everything he's worth. That's what his karma is going to be. Just because he wants us to feed his ego. Is there anything else, spirit? No, can I leave it there? All right. We're going to leave it there. That's insanity. Just be mindful. Be mindful. Okay. Divine feminines. If this is resonating with you and you start to feel a tantric pull towards this masculine, look him in the eyes in your third eye. If you're a seer like myself, I'm going to tell you how to do this right now, okay? Because I have to do this with my masculine on a regular basis. Look him at, when you, you when you see his face pop up into your head, no matter what you're doing, unless you're driving, okay? Just, just be mindful. Use discernment, okay? Please use discernment. Um, stop what you're doing. Focus in on his face. Look him dead in his eyes. Say, I love you. I release you. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get up out of here. I release you. I call back my power from you and any other person from any other time, from any other place. I call it back. You do not deserve it. You do not. I don't want you having it. And then release it and move on with your day. Do not allow it to linger too long. 
because the longest the longer you allow it to linger the more energy he sucks from you okay so i'm just telling you this is this is some sacred knowledge that i have that i'm trying to give to you I didn't learn this from any YouTube, whatever. I didn't learn this from anything on Google. This is all stuff that my ancestors and my and my spirit guides are trying to tell me to tell you from things that I've had to experience myself. Because this shit's serious. If you want to give them your power, do what you do. But if you want to keep that empowerment that you feel, do not, I repeat, do not allow his the thought of him or whoever linger for too long. Because if you want your divine blessings, you have to stand strong. So that's what I got for you guys today. No, Gigi loves you. Until next time, light, love, and blessings, you guys. Bye for now.